Hello everybody, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you how to create the 2D or 3D models, the vehicle types and the vehicle v uh, classes using the PTV Vision. So uh, these 2D or 3D models, vehicle types and the vehicle classes, they they allow the user to control the vehicle mix that is estimated in the Vision network. So they are related to each other. Okay, by default, PTV Vizim has 2D or 3D models. Again, the vehicle types and uh, the vehicle classes which are provided in the v, uh, in the PTV Vizim. But these default values can be different from the data that you have on the ground. So it should be adjusted according to the available field data to best replicate the vehicle mix present in the roadway network being analyzed. Let's start with the 2D and 3D models. So, in the base data, if you go to 2D or 3D models, it shows you plenty of vehicles, okay? So, here, by default, PTV has a lot of vehicles. So, if you want to create new one, you have to click this and it adds immediately a new card for you, okay? But, by default, you can use this one. Here, for example, let's create new model, okay? If you are using for the airport area, you can use the air, okay? If you are using the bus, here the bus type, okay, the school type, or the city bus, okay? Again, for the cars, we have a plenty of cars. You can use for plenty of cars based on the field data. Also, we have emergency cars, again, we have police cars, everything you can find from this file. Okay, for example, let's take this car worse wagon. So you have to open this one immediately. Say yes, immediately the new window pops up like this. Don't forget here at any time. PTV Vision in the 3D model it shows you with dot v 3D. Okay, here we have the dimension for this car again. You can see the uh, axle, okay. You can see the joints and the shafts, okay. You can adjust this thing here by fixing these numbers, okay. Again, you can, after adjusting, you can say like generate automatically, and you can see your vehicle 3 model over here, okay. You can see the model after adjusting, okay. If you want to have new car like for example htv trailer okay you can click over here again go to htv htv we have a lot of uh, different types of htv here we have the tractor open the tractor okay then it shows the same window like the previous one again this is the front side okay this is the front side you have to add the trailer in the back okay so here go to this plus sign and click again and go to HTV in the HTV you can find this trailer okay open it okay immediately in the 3d in the model preview it connects with each other again you can adjust every attribute here for your vehicle okay if you want to adjust for the pedestrian you can use the same okay you can increase the height you can decrease everything like this another important thing in the 2d and the 3d model after having a lot of vehicles according to our field data is the distribution go to the distribution here we have the 2d and the 3d model by default for example if we have such kind such types of vehicles for example then the first one is car under the car, we have plenty of car types. For each car type, you have to make a share. Like for example, for Volkswagen, it's 24 percentage. Okay, about 80 percentage. Don't worry about the percentage. It can be like Exodus 100. Okay. So, for each thing, you can adjust and you can add also the shares over here. Well, let's go to the next part vehicle types in the vehicle type here 
after having the 2D and the 3D model cars, in the vehicle type, we have also cars, okay? Here in the car, you can adjust the attributes here, okay? If you want anything from here, you can shift from here to this one. And if you want to, if you don't want anything from this table, you can delete from this table. I mean, like, you can change to this position, okay? So, here you can see the categories, the models, again, the color distribution, the occupancy. So, by default, PTV Vision gives you the occupancy for the cars and for the tram. But for the pedestrian, there is no occupancy, okay? Check that you are unselected the occupancy for the cars or for the vehicles. Okay, for example, if you want to add additional thing on this vehicle, you can type here the new name for this vehicle because each country have different types of vehicle or field data. So you can adjust your field of data over here, the distribution here, you can adjust the distribution, like based on the maximum acceleration, desired acceleration, maximum deceleration, desired deceleration, also the weight, most of the time the weights for HGV, okay? So if you have files from the external driver model, you can add from here, okay? So by doing this, you can adjust the vehicle types. Next to this, you have to adjust the vehicle classes. As you see from the name, here we have the vehicle classes. Again, here we have the vehicle types, okay? So in the vehicle class, sorry in the vehicle types we have a plenty of vehicle types including the pedestrian in the vehicle classes you can adjust every vehicle classes based on the color based on the vehicle type okay again based on the attributes like uh, if this box is selected that means the vehicle category is selected okay we have the vehicle types that means you are relating the vehicle class with the vehicle type Okay, again, in other column, you can see the vehicles which are assigned for these vehicles. Okay, so this is how we can uh, create the vehicle classes, but this vehicle class do not directly determine the vehicle mix, which are simulated in the network or in the VZIM network. However, they do play an important role in the VZIM network coding process by allowing users to group multiple vehicle types together to assign them to network objects. So you can group all the vehicle types here. Again, you can see the pedestrians and other important parameters which are grouped or which are classified in the classes like this. Okay, this is all about today. Thank you very much. See you next time.